I went to the last Oakland Raiders game of the year, home game of the year, an affair against the Buffalo Bills that put the Bills in a position such that win, and they're in. They didn't win. They lost. They lost to the Raiders in a game that the Raiders really took by the throat, held on, and won. And a close one. Which did feature Kyle Orton directing a near miraculous comeback that ended with the Raiders recovering the Bills' onside kick, running out the clock to win the game. The Bills finished the year 9-7, and seven, and it looked like they were poised, even with that loss, to perform well the next season. Great nucleus of talent with C.J. Spiller, first-round draft pick Sammy Watkins, injured E.J. Manuel coming back, quarterback. Great defense that played a whale of a game, particularly during the last five games. But Doug Marone decided, you know what? I'm going to opt out of my contract. I'm going to take my $4 million and walk. And that's exactly what he did, announced approximately one hour ago. So there are people saying, ah, he's going to walk over and become a New York Jets coach. You know what? I say this. Any coach that will last for just two years and then walk out, quit, take the option on his contract, sends a message to his players, future players, you know what, things may go well, but if they don't go just so well, I may just skip out on you. Maybe I'll skip out on you in the middle of the season. That's not a good sign. So Doug Marone is not one of the best head coaching candidates. He skipped out on his players.